Hey, Fight Life Media here. We're at Mayhem at Mesquite. Tough enough with Christy Lopez. Christy, congratulations. Thank you so Hard much. fought win. Wow, went down to a split decision. Tell everybody a little bit about your thoughts on the fight and how you saw it go down. Um, I mean, it was a great fight. She's a great opponent. I've known about her for a while. We were supposed to fight like a year and a half ago, and um, I knew she was tough. Um, I also had a lot of respect for her, and, and just during the fight, I kept just pushing myself and thinking about everything that everybody told me and um, really just being more aggressive than my last fight and just just really just focused and working on everything that I needed to work on and, and dominate. Mm -hmm. So Chrissy, you, you used a lot of you know good uh, clinch work, controlled her against the cage. You took her down several times. Were you surprised that you weren't able, weren't able to, uh, you know, cinch in that submission victory? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I really, I actually envisioned myself um, getting like the rear naked choke on mm -hmm. her. So when it happened, I was like, yes, it's coming true. So I went for the body triangle and yeah, I couldn't get it, but I mean, I still, it was still a dominant position and you know, I, I worked on, I did what I worked on and like for anybody that's, you know, fighter been in there and to, to be able to do what you work on in a fight, mm -hmm. I mean, that in itself is an accomplishment. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely wish I would have been able to finish her, but you know, I still did what I worked on, so I'm pretty happy with, okay. yeah. Well, great victory nonetheless. I mean, Carrie's a really tough fighter. She's evolved in her game considerably over the last year as well. So, Chrissy, what's next for you? Obviously, you're progressing as well. When can we see you or expect to see you back here in the cage? Hopefully soon. I mean, um, I've thought a little bit about maybe going down to 115, but I like to eat, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep working and, like, keep working on what I, what I did tonight and um, talk to my trainers and um, just – you know, figure out what's next for me. I know there's a couple tough up coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so if one of those happens to be when I fight, then, you know, I'd be awesome. Tough enough's great. Yeah. So. Awesome. So, Christy, anybody else you'd like to thank, your training partners, uh, sponsors, anything else? Yeah, I'd like to thank, um, of course, my, my family. Without them, I would be nothing. Um, and actually, my little brother, he, he cornered me tonight. He's helped me a lot with my stand-up. Um, all my trainers, um, Eddie Bravo, 10th Planet, all my all my people at 10th Planet, um, a lot of people from Legends MMA helped me tap out, um, Kings MMA, I had a lot of people that I sparred with at Kings, and uh, my sponsors, uh, Jacob the Bell Guy, um, EvanLopez.com, uh, Jador Sport, um, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody, uh, 10th Planet, um, yeah. Uh, Toot Skin Savants, Toot Skin Savants, so yeah, all my friends and family. All right, well keep your eyes open for Christy Lopez, and as always, for additional coverage and exclusive content, make sure and check us out at fightlifemedia.com.